watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. It began as Mother Seton House in 1985 and now provides emergency shelter, counseling, and support to youth in crisis ages 9 through 17. Operating 24 hours a day, Seton Youth Shelters offers residential shelter, street outreach, and mentoring programs designed to help children reach their full potential. Here to tell us about Seton Youth Shelters is Executive Director Jennifer Siraki. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us today. So opened in 1985, this is your 30th anniversary. That is wonderful. Tell us a little bit about Seton Youth Shelters. Well, again, you know, we are just wrapping up our 30th anniversary, 30 years of providing shelter, street outreach, and mentoring services to youth throughout Hampton Roads at no charge. Um, we, we provide residential shelter for boys and girls. Our street outreach program goes into area neighborhoods, and our mentoring program pairs um, a child with an adult mentor to help them reach their full potential, as you just said. So tell me a little bit more about the street outreach program. Our street outreach program travels the uh, neighborhoods of Southside and the peninsula. Um, we go into specifically targeted neighborhoods where we might find children who, um, you know, are runaway, possibly homeless, um, at risk. We offer, you know, a, a, a helping hand, food, drink, access to a cell phone, um, resources, anything that we can do to make that connection with them to intervene and help them in any way we can. And in many cases, that may be um, bringing them into our shelters. I think now about how freezing cold it is outside mm -hmm. and the idea of a runaway child outside, not with warm clothes on, sounds phenomenal that you do that outreach and, and help bring them into shelters. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, at this time of year with the unpredictable weather here and the cold snap that we're having, um, very, very important that we um, find these youth and make sure that they are safe because the conditions are very physically threatening. You also have um, a program called Mentoring Children of Prisoners. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about that. This is a program where we um, pair a child, 4 through 18, a mentee, with a volunteer mentor. Um, this child would be from a household where there's an incarcerated parent or adult loved one. And what we do is we, we help that child by offering a trained um, friend, shoulder, um, you know, someone to be there um, in the absence of that incarcerated adult family member. And I understand that um, Seton Youth Shelters also has helped teen victims of human trafficking. Yes, I mean, we've been hearing a lot about this, especially this year, and in this last year alone, we were able to assist four um, teenage victims of human sex trafficking through our shelter program. That is so wonderful. You don't really think about something like human sex trafficking happening here in Hampton Roads. And, and it is everywhere across the country, and um, it is in our backyard, obviously. Um, so we were, we were happy to be there and glad that we could provide those services for those young victims. Now, one of the things that um, I found remarkable that you were sharing with me earlier mm -hmm. is the percentage of children who you work with that you're able to return to a stable home environment. Tell us a little bit more and, about and that. And that is always our goal whenever possible is to return our, the child who comes to us to their, to their family to reunite them. And we're successful about 94% of the time. And we do that through um, group, individual, and family counseling, offering support to the youth while they're with us and to their families, and then also when they leave us so that they can have an improved relationship um, with their families. So helping both the family and the child to make yes. sure that the child has um, an appropriate and wonderful environment to go back yes. home to. Yes, and always free of charge to the children, the youth, and their families. So it's a lot of services that you offer free of charge. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that the community can support Seton Youth Shelters in the work that you do? Yes, I mean, we wouldn't have started 30 years ago without the support of the community, and we wouldn't be here today. Our doors wouldn't be open without that. So, you know, certainly um, donations, uh, monetary or in kind, assisting in, on a volunteer basis, you know, attending our special events, having a great time for a good cause. Um, those are all ways that, that the folks around here can help us because we are a locally based nonprofit. We rely on our local community. 
Um, tell me a little bit about hashtag Wishlist Wednesday. Wishlist Wednesday is um, a, a Facebook um, and website uh, program that we have that lets the people in the community know, hey, you know, if you've got a little something to spare, this is what we need. And it ranges from paper towel to clothes to, you know, groceries and sometimes really special needs, something that, uh, you know, a, a stove breaks or we have problems with one of our vehicles. We put everything from soup to nuts, and literally, uh, on the Wishlist Wishlist Wednesday, and we've gotten some great responses to that. That's wonderful. So folks can help you with cash and in-kind donations. Check yes. out your Facebook page. Yes. Find more about Wishlist Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, what about volunteers? Can you use volunteers? We use volunteers in all our areas. You know, in all, in shelters, street outreach, in our mentoring program, of course, which the mentoring program is volunteer based. All our mentors are volunteers, trained uh, volunteers, and then also our two really fabulous special events you know we need a lot of volunteers to pull those off our fashion show and our derby day event so uh, come on in you know give us a call visit our website we'd love to talk to you about volunteering tell us a little bit more about those special events derby day coming up that's, fairly soon that's right I mean if you've ever watched the derby and wanted to go well you don't need to jump on a plane you can just go to Back Bay Farms in Virginia Beach we we really do it up we have a live broadcast of the derby our own live turf races hat contest people get really decked out for hat this contest. mint Gotta julep the, the works the work so it's a great time we call it the party of the year with a purpose the purpose being to support us keeping our doors open well Jennifer thank you so much for being here and talking with, with us about Seton Youth Shelters today. Thank you. Glad and to be thanks here. Thanks so much for the work that you're doing to help vulnerable children in our community. You're welcome. Here's to another 30 years. Absolutely. When we return, too many of our youth are homeless and living on the streets. Stand Up for Kids Hampton Roads is doing something about this as well. We'll hear how they're helping these young people build better and safer lives when we come back with more Cox Connections.